honestly, I would love to talk about Amazon since we have you yeah. on here. I'm not gonna lie. Let me let me find a really good Ask one. Me anything you want. You can just shit all over Amazon. That'd be great. <laughs> Been there for five years. I know <laughs> everything there is to know. <laughs> What 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 were you doing when you first started, and then what were you what are you doing now? So I started because uh, they offered quite a few more dollars an hour than my previous job. Yeah, uh, I got hired there. I loved it the first one, two, three years. Been there five now. Yeah, the last couple of years. How many hours did you work at first? Uh, forty hours a week. That, all right, that's... over overtime during the peak season, November and December. That's that bad. So That's pretty good. Made pretty decent money. <laughs> Been fucked over a couple times along the way with, <laughs> with the stocks they gave me and all that, but that's a different story. Uh, the most part about, you know, it depends what site you're at, what place you're at at Amazon. Uh, as far as getting fucked over, <laughs> how much you're getting overworked, but. Yeah. As far as my building, you know, the first three years is all right. We transi- transitioned into a new building and super hard work. Yeah. You were saying earlier you're at XL building now? Yep. We have to... Yep, heavy, heavy stuff. Uh, they like to say that there's weight restrictions on things and that it takes two people to lift something, but uh, they make you lift it yourself. No. Oh. <laughs> no matter what it is. 200 pound generators. Jesus. They look away. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> Holy shit. They lie about every, everything. Everything they uh, everything's conven- Everything safety wise is uh, they tell you not to do. If you're doing it towards their goal, right. the numbers they need to hit, whatever's convenient for them, they'll let you do it. I'm assuming. Uh, I'm assuming just because like the stress of keeping up with like what corporate wants you to do so they're just like whatever i don't give a fuck just, yeah yeah everybody is tied to a number so at first i used to think oh man my manager's being like super super petty yeah towards their employees like why are they being why are they being so crazy and all that but really it comes down to they have they're getting shit on by their boss like yeah. shit rolls downhill at amazon so yeah their managers have a quota they need to hit too so realistically they'll do anything to get it to I'm and pretty then, sure they do get bonuses there. I think that is confirmed. Yeah, and then I bet you the higher ups are like, "What? We don't know what. But we don't know about that shit. I, we always tell them to follow the guidelines and whatever. But like, if it's the only way that's going to get done is for them to break the oh, rules. Oh, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, so then they get to dodge responsibility. But and, but we all know what's really going on. Like it's encouraged, basically. How do you feel about the strikes? The what? The, the oh, strikes the strikes. I didn't hear. I I heard. Well, I heard about it. Was that with the union thing? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know if there's any going on I didn't here. follow along, so we didn't have any of that down here, but... Uh, yeah. You know, information... I guess you can't really talk about it, because if they hear about it, you'll be fired. Yeah, realistically, yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, they put a lot of restrictions when COVID started on uh, team lifting, being six feet apart. Yeah. But one thing, that's, one thing that makes no sense, so if you have a 10... And we have 20-foot ladders at Amazon. Now, we, we're we allowed to be six feet apart, but if there's a 20-foot ladder, I'm not allowed to team lift a ladder from one end and have someone else on the other end of a 20-foot ladder. That's so, you, so now you're 20 feet apart, but you can't lift that up. Yeah, that's, that doesn't make any sense. So I'm, I'm thinking, what am I, in the twilight zone here? Is that, it, do we have anybody thinking? That's the one problem with, like, uh... I don't know what the what the correct term for this is. I always call it just like ro- like robot logic, where like the higher ups make a rule that says it has to be this way, and then you like can't use human judgment. Like a manager can't just be like, "Well, I think it should just be done this way," because like they don't trust the managers enough to make human judgment. Basically, it's that that corporate rule book where yeah. everything's written in stone. It's like aggressive and, corporate and it overlord. Makes sense. Yeah, it's just like come, just let people decide. For themselves, make a few little human judgment calls, but well, they don't. They don't care. They just want to do whatever. Right. It's going to get the most work from. Like they, they don't, don't work in the factories. They don't know what it's like. That's so true. They're too. making all the rules. That's a good point. It's an it's an HR uh, person never it's never a boardroom. Yeah. They came right. Up in that rule. They they've probably never even stepped foot in one of their factories, and yet they're they're yeah. just looking at data numbers and be like, okay, well, yeah. we got to get this number up and this number down. 
So just, uh, I'm not going to like dox us and say where we work, but me and Shane work at a locally owned bakery where the owners work with us. And so Dakota worked there with us. Jeremiah did too. And so Dakota went from that to Amazon, which is like super corp, like the most corporate. Literally, he was the richest man in the world. The owner was the richest man in the world. Yeah. He still is, isn't he? Uh, no, uh, Elon Musk passed him up. Oh, that's right. After, Possib- after possibly due to the divorce. Yeah. <laughs> which one would you prefer? A locally owned business or a corporate power? Well, and you can you can use the pay to justify it because I know Amazon pays. I, I was going to start with the pay. Yeah. yeah uh, pay really doesn't come close. I mean, it can. You know, at the bakery we when I was previously working with Tyler and Shane and Jeremiah. You're making tips on top of that. And, yeah, uh, that's always... Depend, it depends on the day. You get a busy day, you get more money, and it, it pays off for you. Yeah, wages have gone up. Our wages sure. are way higher than it was. Oh, I, yeah. I, know, I know you got some raises when you worked there anyway, but yeah, our wages have gone up, which is nice. Yeah. O- only like me, Shane, and Joey, because we're like, you know, we're like in the back. We've right. been there for years, stuff like that. So. Yeah. Well, yeah, I do I do like the, uh, the small business feel. You know, you see... You got to make relationships with people that come in, whether you're in the back or not. You're still taking food out to them. You see the same people. You go say hi. Uh, and then your bosses that you get to interact with them every day on a personal level. And you know you're helping out a small business rather than a corporation. I, uh, the pay is nice. The benefits. But as far as, like, interaction, they you don't really... You don't really get to talk a whole lot besides talking about work at uh, yeah. Amazon. Uh any but, any time you're seen talking to somebody, or within seconds, you're usually caught. You know, told to get back to work. It's really that bad. I mean, would, would you say it's worth it for the pay? It depends. Like I said before, it depends on the site you're at. Like there are certain positions yeah, at you, Amazon. It depends when you get hired in. Your job basically you staying there depends on what job you get. There are certain positions in there that can't hold employees. That people yeah. come in, walk out. They have the worst turnover rate. <laughs> Ever, I mean, we get people that come in and leave on their first night. It just, it, it's not Holy for them. Shit. Lately, that we haven't kept anybody. So, nice. yeah, I'd say I do prefer the being personal with the uh, think, work, working at the bakery. And I think most people would probably be like, yeah, if if a small, if like a small business paid like a big corporation did, it would probably be the best in both worlds. But there's just no way for that to sync up. Yeah, that's yeah. I mean, they have billion billionaires backing Amazon, so like, and also there's even then they still they have, okay. they have the tax breaks. They have they have like uh, the stock market, whatever, like all the investors and all that. Like, yeah, and then they they still only pay you like you know whatever. Like they can afford you pay to pay you so much more, <laughs> but but they choose to pay the least amount they can to keep people there, which is like I'm not exactly hating on that because they're still paying way higher than minimum wage and they offer health insurance however other countries you don't need fucking health insurance (laughs) you just go to the doctor like and also other countries it's like you legally have to get so many days off work you get sick leave you get uh you get like if you have a kid you get off for that and you get that's all paid for even if you're a man you get paid off for that yeah so like it's like, yeah, the benefits are great, but only because we live in America. Like, if we lived in another country, you would get, you wouldn't need the benefits, basically. I need to make one more thing clear. Yeah. Everybody that I've talked to that knows I work at Amazon, the first thing they say is, oh, Amazon pays for your school, right? They're always, adver- I always see them advertising. They pay, uh, Amazon pays your tuition. I want you to listen closely. <laughs> Amazon. <laughs> Is lying out of their ass. <laughs> so here's what I'll say. This is the exact rules and stipulations on Amazon paying for your tuition. They will only, they'll either pay 95% of your tuition or up to $3,000. So if most colleges cost over 3000 a year. 3000 a year isn't even like a semester. Yeah, that's, that's so, nothing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so unless you're going to a community college, exactly. you're basically, they're only paying... A tiny chunk. If right? you go to SWIC, it's probably fine, but yeah. Well, yeah. Here's the next part. Well, to get that 3000 you have to work 40 hours a week. 
Yeah. Now I'm on night shift Sunday How are you through Wednesday. Do that yeah, school? forty exactly. hours plus college. So That's bullshit. If you work, then then you can get half of that. So if you're not working forty hours a week, the only other thing they'll pay you is fifteen hundred. So half of that if you're working thirty hours or more. So even with thirty hours or more, uh, you know, it's still that's still a lot depending on what schedule you have. There's still a lot of hours. Yeah. And uh, going to school, especially with school, I, I went to school and worked, and I took like three classes and worked, and I worked like four or five days a week. Yeah. I fucking hated it. <laughs> yeah, I was a bitch about it. I don't. I don't. I can't. I don't know how so many people do it. So many people say they do it. I don't also, know fucking how they have no life. I guess no there's a list life. of careers that they choose from as well. So they look at job output ratings. Yeah. What what job what jobs are growing? So they pick from a list. They pick from a list which ones you can choose from that they pay for. Well, I'm going to school to be an X-ray tech, so radiology. They don't even offer any school. They don't offer to pay anything for that field. Oh, so right. right there, so you're you're thinking, oh, I'm going to get hired. Right. I'm going to get hired at Amazon. Single mom. I, I need to get back into school. I'm going to go. You know, maybe maybe this will work out for me. They probably only care if it's like a business degree. Right. It's like, oh, well, they have they do have a nursing Some category. Kind of oh, they have, they do so have listen to this. We live toward we live near St. Louis, but we're in Illinois. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so after you, if you're lucky enough to have your job category on there, you're working forty hours a week. You can find a schedule that works for you. Now you're looking at what school am I going to go to? Well, after you after say you're say you're going for nursing. You choose a nursing category. Oh, now they're choosing your school that you have to go to. God damn it. So when I looked at the nursing categories, the closest school from here was at least three hours away. And most of them were up in Chicago. So if I wanted to go for nursing, I would have to move across the state or at least three hours away to be able to even make it work. So, you know, when I kind of get mad. People come up. Everybody's... Misinf- dis- misinformed. Yeah. On and this is this is why when people are like, I don't know, I don't know what to say. It's so my answer when people ask me, does Am- Amazon pay for your schooling? I say, fuck no. <laughs> yeah. They pay for what they want to pay they, for. They have ways of saying, uh, I mean, it's Amazon. We're talking about literally the most profitable business in America. They have a way of saying things that makes it so they can get away with anything pretty much. Like, mm-hmm. So yeah, it's like, if we technically, if we offer this, 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 then we can say we do this and this, this. Exactly. What happens is then people get hooked in. And I mean, if the pay is nice, they're going to stay. But like, there's a bunch of things promised that just kind of go away. I mean, did, you got, you had stocks. I don't think they offer that anymore, right? Like, they don't offer They don't stocks. offer stocks or the monthly bonus. Did something fucked up happen with your stocks too, or am I wrong? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so basically. You want me to explain it? I mean, I can go the short yeah. route. You can try to do the short route. Okay. We can. I mean, I love this. I love shit on Amazon. Right. But, we, but we can we can move on after. Yeah, short route. I got three uh, three stocks when I got hired the first yeah, Amazon's year. Like really high right now. Yeah, yeah. So I got three <laughs> yeah. stocks the first year. Stocks are worth a lot. Stock started the, the their stock price started shooting up whenever I got hired in 2016. It was around eight hundred seven eight hundred bucks. First year I got three stocks. Second year, I got two stocks, and then the last year, I got one stock before they transitioned over to uh, the $15 minimum wage. Yeah, so they, they promised everyone that they would get 15 hours now, because that's what, like... So the stocks vested in two years from the time they gave them to you, so you had to work there two years after they're vested, so... Yeah. My left my first three, I cashed out, and the stock price was around right at $998 my cash out. I got about... It, actually, no. Wait. It was at nineteen nineteen ninety eight, so two thousand a piece. Got about thirty three hundred after the taxes they taken out. That's good. Uh, so the last three that were left over, whenever I was in school, I was on a school accommodation, working twenty to twenty five hours a week. I remember that was when they allowed you to work less than thirty. Uh, no one told me. Apparently, in the terms and conditions on page like two hundred and twenty <laughs> section C. It says if you are uh, not full time, your stocks are deleted from your account. And I was never told that, you know. They told you about the school program. Yeah. They and neglected the technic- technique. You would lose in, your stocks. in the most technical of terms, it's my fault because I signed the terms and conditions on yeah. Morgan Stanley. 
I remember that happening. And we we all worked together whenever and that happened. Today, yep. And today, those stocks were be worth around right. nine thousand, yeah. maybe ninety five hundred bucks. It's thirty two hundred dollars a share. Right so about ninety six, about let's just say ten grand. I lost ten grand because Amazon screwed me over. And when I called the uh, when I called their hotline and talked to about five representatives, yeah. the last guy told me, and I'll never forget. Think of it as you got fired. You can never get those stocks back. And from then on, I'm like, man, I have zero except, respect. Except you didn't get fired. You put in hours. You worked there. Like they they approved my school accommodation. They fucked you basically. And no one told me. Yep. No one even told me my stocks were deleted from the account. I found that out just by looking in my uh, yeah my stock connect account. And the thing is, if, if the person who neglected to tell you just didn't realize it, because they, I would assume they have their best, your best interest or something. It's like. You can't even be like, but they didn't tell me or something. Because they're just like, we don't give a fuck. At the end of the day, they don't care. Like, Okay, we got to we gotta talk about it. What? Do you have to pee in shit bottles? No. <laughs> no, nah, my, my site's not that bad, but... those Yeah, there were people who reported that. Yeah. But people have to... They, they, they don't get any breaks and they have to piss in bottles. I, I Honestly, okay, so at my site, when you need to go to the bathroom or any any time you need to do something other than work, they give you a little sheet. It's a time off task sheet. You just write down what you're doing in that time you're not working and it gets it gets covered. Uh, it's not. Yeah. Now, you run into problems when you don't write stuff down in that sheet because if they come back the next day and say, hey, yesterday you had a, a total of two hours of time off task. Uh, what were you doing from 11 to 1130? You're like, I don't remember that was yesterday. I, mean, yeah. I was just working. Well, when you didn't, if you didn't write it down and you don't remember, well, you're already at 30 minutes. Yeah. And anything 30 minutes and over is a write up. Yeah. Anything over an hour is a uh, step two, which is final written. Mm-hmm. And if you get an hour and a half of time off task within a 10 hour shift, it's an instant termination. So you don't write it down, whatever. Yeah. So I think most sites are transferring or. Starting to give those time off task sheets depending on what system. And and the one you work at, I won't. I'm not gonna like say anything. I'm not gonna dox this. I mean, we we stay on the podcast all the time. We live in Illinois and we are near St. Louis. We stay all the time. But I'll just say that like you're at you were at a location that was like a, what like you said five years ago when you started working. Did you started working there right. I said five. I meant four and a half. Yeah, it was September right 2016. Right yeah, right, right, right when that up. right when my building opened. Yeah. Right. So you're at a, a more relatively newer place so hopefully they experiment with you guys and learn from it or something yeah. yes jared answers yes <laughs> yeah so yeah it was it's just funny my little brother worked at amazon too he literally started the same place you did right when it started but i think he lasted only like a year he like once he cashed out his stocks he was bailed and he's been working at uh fuck the place the pharmacy place was like right by me. What's it called? Uh, Ashman's Walgreens. He does like he does he does like the same. You could think of Walgreens. I was asking. I said the pharmacy place. Listen, <laughs> listen. I'm trying to explain the story. Walgreens is just a pharmacy though. But but he but he does like the uh, he basically does the same thing. He does warehouse work. He's not working like he's not fucking like cash. Oh, but he work. He does, oh, he does, I know. I know someone at Amazon that also works at a Walgreens uh, yeah. warehouse. So yeah, probably right, the same place. But uh, well, that's the thing. Apparently, it was like, "Oh, you worked at Amazon." Okay, it's similar. And then he just moved right on it. Now he's like, he make he makes pretty good money now because now he's like manager of manager of whatever, blah blah blah. So like, he's worked his way up from there. My dad, My dad worked at Walgreens once. Yeah, as a as a nurse practitioner. Yeah, that, yeah, that makes sense. He said it was like really shitty. Yeah, so he left. <laughs> now he works at hospitals. All that shit sounds. What hospital? I don't. I wouldn't want to work in a warehouse. Uh, Okay. Personally, I just wouldn't want to work at a warehouse or a factory, but a lot of my friends who work in those places make more than me, so am I the fucking idiot? Possibly. I mean, I'm content with my job. I like it there. I like the people. I like the work. Well, and it's interesting because, like, just being happy at work matters a lot more to people than the money. So long as you have enough money to survive. Right, but you need to be making enough. We live in Illinois where minimum wage is going up every year. I'm not... My plan was never to rely on that, though. My plan was always, like, 
eh, I might find a better thing that offers more than minimum wage. But eventually, I don't know. It's gonna. I don't. Know, I feel like pay is just gonna go up as minimum wage goes up. I feel like it's just that's it's just the way the economy works. It's gonna get stimulated from everyone making more money and then buying more things. So yeah, and then it's gonna stimulate me when I'm making some money and I'm finally impressing girls with my money for once in my goddamn life.